I would. He's very smart. I had a great talk with him the other day. Uh, as you know, it was went on for two and a half hours <laughs> almost, and I'm, perhaps you listened, but he's a very smart guy. I certainly would. If he would do it, I certainly would. He's a, he's a brilliant guy. Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump announced on Monday that he might end the $7,500 tax credit for electric vehicle purchases if he wins the election. In an interview with news agency Reuters, Trump explained that tax credits and incentives are generally not effective, although he emphasized that no final decision has been made. Trump also mentioned that he would consider naming Tesla CEO Elon Musk to a cabinet or advisory role, praising Musk as a brilliant guy. This comes after Musk publicly endorsed Trump in the presidential race. Trump expressed support for electric cars but also highlighted his preference for gasoline-propelled cars and hybrids. He criticized the Biden administration's rules encouraging automakers to produce more EVs and stricter emission standards. Trump believes there is a much smaller market for EVs due to their cost and battery range issues. Trump stated he would impose new tariffs to discourage the export of vehicles produced in Mexico for the U.S. market. He also mentioned that Chinese automakers would be required to build plants in the United States if they want to sell cars to American consumers. Trump emphasized his desire to boost domestic car manufacturing. In addition, he criticized Google, likening it to the Wild West, but did not specify what penalties the company should face after a judge ruled it was an illegal monopoly. On the issue of TikTok, Trump indicated that it might be difficult to ban the app due to free speech concerns, but acknowledged that its Chinese owner, ByteDance, might sell the US assets.